Hi, my name is Paul. Have you ever considered the amount of time, energy, effort, pain and money we put ourselves through dealing with a symptom rather than finding the real problem or what I call the root cause? Imagine you have a cold, you've got a sore throat and a runny nose and a headache and ugh, it feels really bad. So you nip down to the pharmacy, you buy some throat lozenges, a box of tissues, one of those squirty things that you stick up your nose to help you breathe easier. What we're doing here is we are treating the symptoms, the runny nose, the sore throat and the headache, but we're not treating the real problem, which is the cold. I suffered with clinical depression for many, many years, and it kind of annoys me and angers me a little bit that I could have knocked years off that pain and suffering that I'd gone through if myself and the people that were trying to help me had gone looking for the root cause, the real problem of my depression, rather than sticking a Band-Aid over it, which was the medication and various types of therapy, but to be honest, didn't really work. Imagine you're an explorer and you come to this massive wide river and you want to find the source of this river. So you sail down the river and the river gets narrower and narrower and narrower. Eventually you've got to get off the boat and start walking and you're hacking your way through the jungle and you're climbing the mountains and pushing your way through waterfalls until eventually one day you come out to this beautiful savanna. And in the middle of this savanna, there is a rocky outcrop and trickling from that rocky outcrop is a tiny little spring, which eventually forms that huge river. You have discovered the source of the river. And this is what we need to do. We need to discover the root cause or the source of our problem. Why is this important? It's very simple, really, because we spend so much time unnecessarily suffering in pain with unwanted beliefs, habits, behaviors that are no benefit to us and stop us from growing and moving forward with our lives. Let me give you a, a real life um, example of this. About four or five years ago, I had a client and she was distraught. She was smoking two or three packets of cigarettes a day. In her own words, she was grossly overweight. And she spent a fortune on diet plans and time in the gym, personal trainers, uh, vapes, nicotine patches, a whole range of different therapies, which to be fair, had worked for a short period of time, but they were all sticking plasters because they were looking at the symptoms, the smoking and the excess eating, rather than going looking for the root cause, the real problem. So the client came to me and together we went exploring through her mind, looking for the root cause. Eventually we found it and it was linked to some horrible experiences she'd had with guys in the past and her subconscious mind had gone into fight, flight or freeze mode. And in this particular example, the subconscious mind said, oh my God, that was so painful. We never want that to happen ever again. What can we do to make ourselves as repulsive, as unpopular, as unwanted as possible to guys in the future. And the subconscious mind created this shield. It created this shield of smoking and excess weight and eating and eating and eating and eating and eating to make her unappetizing, unappealing to the opposite sex. And this carried on for years. Now, my client came to me because she'd had enough. She wanted her life to change. She wanted to improve things. She wanted to have a different kind of lifestyle. And because of that exploration, because of looking for the root cause, we were able to find the root and we dealt with it. And today, four or five years later, she stopped smoking. She's lost all the excess weight and she's in a loving relationship with a really cool guy. You can do this too. Do you want to spend years suffering in pain with the unwanted uh, behaviors, or habits, addictions, whatever? There are two ways to deal with this. The first way is if you're into journaling or mindfulness or meditation is to actually take a step back, find yourself the space and the time where you can reflect and ask yourself questions. Is this thing merely a symptom? Is it a sticking plaster or is it the real problem I'm facing? Once you've got the answer to that question, if you agree that it is just a symptom, then you need to go on an exploration of your own 
to find the root cause, to find the real problem. And once you found that, you deal with it. You tell yourself you no longer want those behaviors, you no longer need those behaviors, and you replace those behaviors with something that's going to be more productive and more helpful. The second way is to work with someone like me. If you'd like to know more about what I do and how I do it, you can check out my website at www.ahappyhead.co.uk www.ahappyhead.co.uk. Thanks for watching. Bye now.